We're launching Microsoft Visio 2016 for the first time. So let's go ahead and choose a basic diagram so we can see some of the different shapes and how we deal with them. Let's go ahead and choose the US units for our basic diagram. And there's our basic shapes. So let's take a look at the top. We see we have the arrow shapes, we have decorative shapes, and we have graph and math shapes. So depending on what you want to do, there's some very basic shapes. Of course, there's lots of different other categories such as networking, electrical, etc. But this is just your basic shape setup. You can also go into more shapes and you can choose from any one of the other categories as well and go ahead and get those uh, added. Let's go ahead and add one right now. Let's choose to add blocks. So when we click blocks, we see a whole new category pop up and you can see all the different blocks show up as well. Let's go to decorative shapes and let's go ahead and drag out a decorative shape. Let's choose the moon, for instance. So I'm left clicking and, I'm left -clicking and dragging out this moon picture. Let's go ahead and drag out another one. We'll drag out the heart. And one more, we'll do the vertical scroll. So here's our different shapes. If you want, you can pick them up and move them around. Now, when we line up with another object, you're going to see these three lines appear. So that means that we are perfectly aligned with that object. So if we let go right now, then we know everything is nicely lined up between them. Let's go and do the same thing with a, a vertical. And we can see when we get here, we can see the one line straight down the middle. That means we are now right in the middle with those two different pictures. If we left click on one of the shapes and then we right click on there we can do some additional things such as we can copy the shape and then right click and choose paste and we can paste as many of these as we like we can also select multiple shapes by left clicking the mouse and dragging over the shapes let go and all the shapes have been selected at once. If we right click and choose copy, now we can do three at a time instead of just one at a time. Let's right click on one of the shapes again and we can also cut the shape if we decide we don't need that many. And if we right click again, we can choose some other options as well such as we can insert a hyperlink into there. So when the user clicks on there, it'll actually take them to a web page. We can add a comment such as, thanks for visiting. And we can see a little comment box appears at the top of our heart where we can see the comment that I just typed in. We can right click again, we can edit the text. We can change the shape of the, uh, the icon, the picture that we have there as well. And we can format the shape by doing things such as filling in the shape with a particular color. And we can change the gradient. We can change a lot of different things. Let's go ahead and change the color. And look at that, we added a little bit of a hint of orange at the top. Let's go ahead and close our format shape. There's going to be a lot of other different things that we're going to cover in upcoming Visio uh, videos that we're going to be doing. But this gives you a good idea of how to drag and drop shapes and also how to move them around and make copies and add color. In upcoming videos, we'll show how to link different objects together as well as manipulate our shapes further.